I'm Dr. Susan Love, the Chief Visionary Officer of the Dr. Susan Love Research Foundation. Our mission is a future without breast cancer, and we do that through innovative research into the cause and prevention. The Inpatient Science Program is really designed to help you understand what your choices are and what decisions you have to make. Today, we understand breast cancer very differently than we did several years ago. We used to think that once a diagnosis for breast cancer came back positive, you had to rush to the operating room and have surgery before the cancer escaped into the rest of your body. Time was of the essence. That was because we thought that cancer cells marched one by one up the lymph nodes and spread into the rest of the body. So if you could quickly remove the breast and the lymph nodes, you could slam the door and prevent the cancer cells from getting out. We now know that microscopic cancer cells typically escape early on in the growth of the tumor. It's really not as bad as it sounds. Most of the escape cells die en route or are killed by the immune system. Some, however, may persist. That's why, in addition to surgery and radiation, we often add systemic treatments that can get into your bloodstream and to where the cancer cells might be hiding. This means that having immediate surgery will not change your outcome. This is not an emergency. Take a deep breath knowing you have time to figure this out. This is the time to educate yourself. You need a team of specialists, as well as your family and friends, to help you through this. Part of this process can be getting a second opinion. You do have the time. Don't worry that you might offend your doctor by getting a second opinion. This is about you. You need all the information you can get. Not all breast cancers are the same. There are different subtypes, and it's important that you know which one you have. Make sure you ask for a copy of your pathology report. Some of the information you need will come from it. Treatment options will include something local, surgery and radiation, to take care of the tumor in the breast, as well as something systemic, chemo, hormone, and targeted therapies. In addition, there are things you can do yourself with diet, exercise, and stress reduction. We recommend you record your conversations with your doctors. This can be helpful as you review your options. So, make sure you take the time to get current with the latest information. Don't be shy about asking questions or getting a second opinion. After all, you want to make the best treatment decisions for you. Inpatient Science is a video series for you, your family, and friends to better understand breast cancer and the choices that you have to make. If you want to find out more information or to support the foundation, go to drsusanloveresearch.org and help us end breast cancer once and for all.